okay hey you guys it is currently 4 52 in the morning and i'm about to show you guys my workout routine for the week it usually starts on friday because that's the first day that i get to work from home for the week and so that's the first thing that i really get to work out like for real for real so what i like to do is make sure i am organized and prepared for the week for my workouts so i will write down the workouts that i'm going to do for the week i will search playlist that I created on YouTube so for example I have a cardio playlist that I created with a whole bunch of cardio workout videos and then I have a strength training playlist so I'll pick and choose videos from each of these playlists and then create a whole new playlist called workout and in the workout playlist are the videos that I'm going to do for the week here are the videos that I'm going to show you in the upcoming week and then I wrote it down here or I'll write it down in my planner the workouts that I'm going to do every single day so that way I'm not wasting time trying to figure out what I'm going to do and this is the playlist I'm about to get ready I'm about to change excuse my voice like it's so early I'm trying to whisper everybody else is still sleeping obviously and I'm always the first one up. And my waist trainer, I wear this on the days I'm gonna be doing like heavy workouts and not like the little after work workouts. I have a video on my workout essentials if you wanna take a look at that. I will link that in the cards. Okay, so I'm going to take my supplements that I take on my active workout days, not on the days that I try to work out after work because it's not really that much of a workout, so. So here are my supplements, creatine, oxy shred, and some pre-workout. Obviously the pre-workout is a must because I'm up like really early in the morning. I will be very lethargic if I don't have any pre-workout. This is not the scoop that it comes with. This is like a, a smaller scoop that came with something else. The scoop that it comes with was way bigger than this, and this thing is 300 milligrams of caffeine. I'm not taking that much caffeine at once, so I just took a smaller scoop, and I think it's like about half. And I also drink coffee later on in the day, so I'm not trying to overload on the caffeine. This is supposed to be a fat burner. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really know if this stuff works this is my second one obviously i fell into the social media hype of this this will probably be my last of this and creatine supposed to help with like strength and muscle building and stuff so i'll just take a scoop of that water cheers yeah i just go work out straight away i don't wait of course my apple watch so i can track my workout and how many calories i didn't burn and how many steps I take throughout the day. And then my iPad so I can watch something while I'm working out. Okay y'all, so I'm on my treadmill and I'll probably be on here for like 45 minutes. I like to go um, slow on the first day of my workout and then increase the intensity as the week goes on. Sometimes I'll just free ball and just manually put in the numbers. So I'll select calories and then I'll do 300. Obviously the more calories, the more intense it is. And this gives me a nice good sweat and then tomorrow, or the next preceding days, I'll do like 400. But I'll never go beyond that because that's, it's, it's too much for me. So I'll just do 400 and it'll just change like the numbers by itself and increase the intensity gradually. And then I'll go on my Apple Watch and I will select the workout and then the top two that I do are already on there, um, like the first two. And then I'll just select indoor walk and then, you know, I'll track it like that. I got my AirPod in and I'll just watch like a documentary like on health and stuff. Just, you know, you, know, you have to change your mindset as well. Watching this documentary, apparently the sugar industry paid Harvard to claim that fat is what's making us unhealthy instead of sugar and carbs. 37 minutes so about 40 minutes i burned 166 calories so i'm just gonna grow here and then hit add then i'm gonna start my strength training workout see i have dumbbells and resistant bands and stuff like that this documentary is very interesting it's called fact fiction it just details how the health industry just kind of promoted carbs for diabetics to help when it really was worsening the illness my workouts are mainly on youtube so i'm in my workout playlist i'm going to do this 30 minute new year full body strength workout by sydney cummings i like to wear a resistant band on my thighs and these ankle weights i'm going to be using 15 pound weights let's get started
Okay, so that is the end of today's workout um, for the rest of the week. It's going to be kind of repetitive, but the different workouts included, like I'll do a HIIT workout and then alternate that between strength training and on the days that I do strength train, I do to get on the treadmill. So I'll just speed through that because it's basically like the same thing. And I'll also show you the workouts that I do after work, which is not as intense. It's mostly like active rest days. Um, I try to make sure to get in about 7,000 steps if I can't do 10,000. 10,000 may be unrealistic for someone that is sitting down all day. So if you don't have access to a gym or if you have a busy schedule, or if you just prefer to work out at home, YouTube is a great resource to do workouts, um, to still lose weight. I remember when I had like limited space in a small bedroom, I would just you literally put a yoga mat in front of my TV and just work out that way. So it's possible still to lose weight at home without a gym membership. But of course, if you want to get a gym membership, get a gym membership. This is, I'm just showing you how I do it at home. The gym just does offer like heavier weights, more variety. But what I'm saying is that it's not impossible to do it without a gym. So today I burnt about 300 calories and I spent like an hour and 10 minutes working out. So I have 5,000 steps, which is half of the 10,000 steps that they recommend. Good morning. Day two, it is 6.03 a.m. My alarm just went off. I usually set my alarms for Saturdays at six, just to give myself a little bit more sleep. Can you imagine somebody saying, I set my alarm for 6 a.m. to give myself more sleep? <laughs> I'm gonna do a hit workout, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done hit in so long and I know I told myself I would incorporate it every week, but I just don't like all that jumping around for an hour and all these burpees. Oh my gosh, I hate burpees. So I'm gonna show you the playlist. We're gonna do this hour abs Tabata style. You could do like two 30 minute workouts. I personally try to get an hour in on my free days. Fitness Blender, oh my gosh, they are a throwback. That's who I like started with, but I just hate burpees so much. And I know they like burpees. I'm just gonna show you like little snippets and then we will move on to tomorrow, which is Sunday. be real with you guys right now um, <laughs> I'm still in the middle of my workout well I rewinded it a little bit I did like 48 minutes I can't go any further I have like really low energy right now I just realized I did not finish my food last night because <laughs> I was editing and I completely just realized that right now because I have very low energy so I'm just gonna listen to my body and just stop the workout right now I wanted to finish it for the video but I literally can't <laughs> I mean, I probably could, but I don't want to. I'm so tired. I did 48 minutes, 195 calories. I'm done. <laughs> today is Saturday and I have an appointment today. So obviously I'll be active and moving around anyways. And I did 48 minutes. A lot of that was pausing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you feel like you cannot do it for whatever reason, maybe you didn't get enough sleep, maybe you didn't eat enough, you don't have enough energy, don't beat yourself up over if you can't move on. Obviously don't make it a habit and just keep making excuses for yourself not to do it, but listen to your body also so yeah i will just see you guys in tomorrow's workout okay it's day three today is sunday and i'm about to do the third workout for the week i'm getting back on the treadmill and i'm gonna go up to the 400 calories i don't really burn 400 calories maybe between like one something to 200 calories but it's it's more intense obviously because it's higher than the 300 calorie one i did before and then I'm going to do some strength training. Um, right now it is 6.25 in the morning. I've been up. You know how we do. We just stay in the bed and lollygag. So I did a little bit of running on the um, treadmill. Like I did a speed of three for a minute and then I did a speed of seven for 30 seconds on and off for about like five to six minutes and then I did 25 minutes of the 400 calorie workout and so far I had burned 154 calories and now I'm about to do a little bit of strength training for like 30 minutes and be done. I don't know about you guys but I work out fasted. Um, I don't eat before working out in the morning but what i eat like the night before really affects my workout yesterday i ate out and ate some peruvian chicken it was the uh, rotisserie chicken with the sweet plantains and some green beans and i have to say <laughs> 
usually I double the carbs and I get the plantains and the rice. I'm slowly trying to incorporate healthier habits and not to do like double carbs and to do a vegetable. What's even better if you do double vegetables and no carbs, little progress at a time, okay. It's so funny because I'm the type of person like a long time ago, I did not care for vegetables at all. Like it was carbs and protein, rice and chicken. That was it, I skipped the vegetables. <laughs> yeah, you can end up paying for that later on in your life. I don't know what type of like oils these restaurants use. Like if they use like any type of inflammatory oils. And let me tell you right now, okay, I got up this morning and I felt bloated, I looked bloated, number one. And then working on the treadmill, today I felt tired and like weighed down not the same tired from yesterday it's like a tired like you eat too much and like it's making you sluggish that's how i felt like so my point is like what you eat before your workout or the night before your workout if you get up in the morning like i do i notice affects my workout so i'm about to do juice Juice and Latoya, I love their workouts, their strength training workouts. So there's this 30 minute advanced dumbbell workout that I've been liking lately. And this is the one. That incorporates like a little bit of cardio. There's more movement in it rather than, you know, staying in one spot and, you know, lifting the weights. So today is the last day I'm showing you guys my at-home workout split. I am doing a little bit of intermittent fasting. Last night I had my last meal at like, I wanna say 12 to one o'clock. I had Chipotle. This morning I had a rice cake with some regular peanut butter on top. I will say maybe like a teaspoon of peanut butter. Um, I was gonna do the powdered peanut butter, the PB2 with less fat in it, but I'm starting to do research. What I'm reading is that the fat helps with the insulin spike against the carbs. From my playlist, I am about to do this Heather Robertson Total Body Strength Workout Dumbbell Superset. That is about 48 minutes. guys so for three days out the week that I am in the office I don't really do a full workout um, because it's kind of difficult getting up early going to sleep early and then tending to the kids you know after school activities and stuff like that I it's kind of hard for me to get I guess I could squeeze in a workout but I'm gonna be honest after I get home from work I don't really feel like it <laughs> so make sure I try to get like at least some steps in uh, sometimes I will do like a walking workout like this 5,000 step fast walking workout by grow with Joe and I added this to my workout playlist for the week search like easy workouts to do that you could just do really quick to get your steps in um, she has a lot of workouts in here yeah i've done this one as well before so that's just to you know get something quick in just to get my body moving from sitting down all day today i also walked up and down 10 flights of steps at my job and i got in a few thousand steps so that's an idea you can walk around outside at your workplace it was kind of cold today and honestly i didn't feel like walking outside aimlessly <laughs> i was just like let me just walk up and down the steps try to you know be active when you're in the house and walk around i know it's hard when you have like a an office job and you sit down all day in front of a computer i'm starting to think like maybe i should set timers like alarms on my phone to remind me to get up and walk around and i literally do this workout inside my closet Hope you guys enjoyed this week's video on my workouts for the week and i will catch you guys in the next video bye